hello everyone uh, welcome back to a new session so in this session i am going to start the asset accounting uh, configuration and then later i will cover the end user part end user transaction so all the asset accounting uh, related videos i will be saving in the new playlist so you will be able to easily find out uh, in my youtube channel in the playlist uh, okay so let's get started so before going into the configuration i just want to uh, discuss the overview of uh, asset accounting so uh, generally the asset accounting in sap uh, system is used to manage and monitor the fixed assets in financial accounting uh, it serves as a subsidiary ledger to the general ledger module and provide the detailed information of the transaction which are involving in the fixed asset module so uh, here to do the configuration uh, we need to access the transaction code SPRO and then click on SAP reference IMG here and select the financial accounting and here and the, all the way down you will see the asset accounting and then expand the organization structure so here the second step would be copy reference chart of depreciation so before going into this uh, step uh, we will understand what is this chart of depreciation so basically in the asset accounting module uh, first of all we need to create the chart of depreciation and this uh, chart of depreciation will be at a we will be defining at a country level and then we'll later we'll assign it to uh, our company code okay so a chart of depreciation means uh, it's a list of depreciation areas uh, which consists of uh, many depreciation areas given by sap and we cannot uh, create the cha our chart of depreciation by a uh, own so sap has already given the templates uh, chart of depreciation templates for each country wise uh, if our country is belong to US, uh, we need to go to the sample chart of depreciation for uh, US and we need to copy from that template and we need to create our own chart of depreciation. Okay, so to do that, uh, just click on uh, execute of uh, this, uh, this step, copy reference chart of depreciation. So here you will see the three uh, steps. So the first step will be uh, we will be copying the template existing template to our uh, new chart of account and uh, so here uh, we need to use this copy organization object and then here uh, you need to click on f4 expand this one f4 here so if the in my case my company code is uh, country is a usa so i will be selecting the template of usa so here you can see zero us sample chart of account chart of depreciation for us country so select this one and then mention your uh, chart of depreciation in my case uh, i will be mentioning at 2000 and then click on continue and here you will see the pop-up message do you really want to transport the number range yes and then click on continue here so here you will see a uh, chart of depreciation 0 us copy to 2000 okay then click on continue and here you will be see uh, you can see here a uh, selected object the chart of depreciation the source chart of depreciation is a uh, 0 us and we have uh, created our own chart of depreciation which is a uh, 2000 so here in this screen if you don't want the chart of depreciation so we can use this delete uh, option and we can delete it okay and uh, come one step back here so here in the second step uh, we will be updating the chart of depreciation description so we have copied from the template right so we need to rename it so specify description of chart of depreciation just double click here and then click on position enter your uh, chart of depreciation which has been created in the previous step and then hit enter so here uh, you will be able to see here a uh, sample chart of depreciation us the description is so i will be removing this one and then 
I'm entering the HSBC chart of depreciation in my case and then click on save here and then click on continue and then come one step back in the third step uh, you will be see a uh, copy slash delete depreciation areas so when you copy the template uh, existing template it will have multiple uh, depreciation areas which may not required uh, for our clients on real time basis so based on our requirement uh, we will be uh, we will keep the our required uh, sort of uh, depreciation areas and uh, uh, remaining things we need to delete it so in my case uh, okay so in my case uh, 10 11 12 13 and 32 40 80 these all are not required in my case so i'm simply deleting it and then uh, so here we need to mention the chart of uh, accounting principle which is assigned to our company code so let me open another session so here i am entering the transaction code fins underscore ledger and select the 0l leading ledger here and then click on company code setting for ledger and then click on continue here here click on position and enter your company code and then again select the company code and click on accounting principle tab so here you will be able to see the accounting principle which is the gap so now uh, here i will be entering the gap so here you will be able to see uh, here uh, three depreciation areas are there so one is a book depreciation area and local currency which is the area post in real time so remaining two are uh, area does not post so it will be copying the values from uh, the the book depreciation so once you have entered the accounting principle just hit on enter so your uh, ledger will be automatically updated here and then click on save just click on continue here and then click on continue again so now we have uh, successfully created the chart of depreciation and uh, uh, we have uh, deleted uh, depreciation areas which are not required for our business. So uh, this is the process to create the chart of depreciation in SAP. Uh, that's all in this session. Thank you so much.